Yesterday at the Brussels Motor Show, Dacia unveiled a new flagship trim of the Dacia Spring called the Extreme. Now the highlight of the new Dacia Spring Electric 65 Extreme is the fact that it has 64 horsepower in total. That's 48 kilowatts. That may not sound like a lot, but it is a significant increase over the old model, which had only 44 horsepower and 33 kilowatts. However, one thing that new buyers seem to be completely unaware of is the fact that this is actually a Chinese car made by Dongfeng. This is Europe's cheapest car, the Dacia Spring. It's just got a different badge and slightly different bodywork, but underneath that, it's exactly the same car. However, this is the new updated model and it's a lot cheaper than the Dacia Spring is in Europe. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. My name's Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne in Australia. Thank you for tuning in. It's great to see you. 2023, let's just be honest here. It's going to be insane. So many new electric cars coming out. Prices coming down. Solar panel prices coming down by 50%. Industry experts are saying battery prices are going to drop too. Lithium costs are going to go down. Demand for lithium, well, it's going to stay around about steady, but big difference here is that there's going to be a huge amount of sodium batteries hitting the market, putting some downwards cost pressures on lithium batteries. I can see lithium stocks having a bit of trouble over the next few years. Sodium is much cheaper and there's some big benefits, but actually the best type of batteries in the future will probably be a hybrid variation of sodium combined with lithium. And they're coming soon too. So stay tuned to the channel. I'll release some more information about that technology very soon. Now, this new vehicle is actually made by Renault. A lot of people don't realize, but the Dacia Spring is essentially a Renault made by not Renault, sort of, half, kind of. Let me explain. The new Dongfeng Nano Box has been launched in China. Its price starts at 8800 US dollars, making it a bit of a bargain. I mean, this is a small crossover SUV and it's actually a decent size. For this price, I think it's a no-brainer for a lot of people. I can see why they're buying it. Now, recently, three new models of the Dongfeng Nano Box were officially launched in China with a price range starting at 8,800 US dollars and topping out at 9,600 US dollars. It's made by Dongfeng EV New Energy. You're probably thinking, what are you talking about? What's Renault got to do with this? Well, Dongfeng EV is a business under the Dongfeng Group that focuses on small, pure electric vehicles. It's currently building a new platform for small electric cars that's going to reduce prices and be more efficient and lighter. In the next five years, Dongfeng EV will launch three to five new models covering SUVs and sedans. However, this car was originally developed by Renault in China, and it was called the Renault Quid. The electric version is called the Renault City KZE, and this car is made in China by Dongfeng Renault. It was exported to Europe as the Dacia Spring, and, well, you can still buy it there now. In fact, it's one of the most popular electric cars in Europe. Now, many people don't realize the Dacia Spring is actually just the uh, Dongfeng Nanobox. This is it. But this is the newer version. Now, this car is made in China by Dongfeng Renault. Dongfeng Renault is basically a joint venture between the Chinese company Dongfeng and Renault. So pretty much every automaker, except for Tesla, has a joint venture with a local Chinese car company where they both own 50% of the business and they split the profits. Now, unfortunately for Renault in China, no one really knows who the company are. There's not really any, any interest in Renault's vehicles themselves. If you brand a vehicle Renault in China, well, it's pretty much like putting a death sentence on that car. It's not going to sell. Renault only sold 20,000 vehicles in the entire auto market of China in 2021. That's abysmal considering this is a car market of 27 million cars every year. And Renault CEO, as a result, Luca De Mio, looked outside of the company for help pursuing a partnership with Geely Holding Group in order to help the company get traction in China. Renault's whole strategy in China was wrong, DeMio told Bloomberg News. It's not an easy market 
to compete in. Now, originally, Renault hoped that Nissan would save them because Nissan sells well around 1.3 million cars in China yearly. But Nissan wasn't interested and that didn't happen. However, this car is actually pretty popular in China, but not branded as a Renault, but branded as a Dongfeng car. And Dongfeng makes a range of other electric vehicles as well. And the overall shape of the Nanobox or the Dacia Spring is, well, it's kind of a round type of car. It's 3,732 millimeters long, 1,579 millimeters wide, and 1,515 millimeters tall. Its wheelbase is 2,423 millimeters. It's actually got a newer updated interior, which I think looks really nice, really minimal, very stylish for a car of this price range. And it also adopts the same color design as the exterior. The Nanobox comes with a seven instrument panel for the driver, so the driver can see what speed they're going, that, that kind of thing. And it also has a 10 inch central control screen. The car is connected to an app with functions including remote door control, remote air conditioning control, vehicle positioning car search, charging management, and vehicle condition inquiry diagnosis. The seat material is made of fake leather as is becoming common these days. Car News China says that the newly added models are equipped with a front motor that puts out 33 kilowatt and 125 newton meters of torque. And this new motor is actually in the new Dacia Spring as well, which is currently on sale in Europe. Dong Feng claims the car's official zero to 60 km hour acceleration time is six seconds. So it's definitely fast enough. I don't think anybody worries with the speed or performance of this car. The battery is a lithium ion phosphate battery, comes from CATL. Capacity is 16 kilowatt hours. In other words, it's a pretty small battery pack. You're not gonna get the claimed 200 kilometers of range. There's no chance of that happening. You might get 100, 150 maximum at a stretch though. And considering the price, eight and a half thousand US dollars, I think that's pretty good. I mean, think about it this way, right? It gets about the same range as the Mazda MX-30, which costs 30,000 US dollars, more than three times the price of this car. Now, as you can see, there's already Chinese cars on sale in Europe. You just didn't realize it. One of Europe's best-selling EVs is actually just a Chinese car made in China, but no one seems to realize it. However, more and more cars made in China are about to hit the European car market. I can tell you now, European automakers are getting very alarmed. If you didn't hear what Solantis, the CEO, said recently, well, you probably should check it out. The entire automotive market is about to be turned on its head. I'll put a link in the description below to my video about what he had to say. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Would you consider buying a Chinese electric car?